Hello, my name is Avril Sorter and what we're going to do today is take a look at how you set up your Wi-Fi security settings on your Windows 7 client. So I'm going to select this network icon at the bottom of my screen and you can see that I can hear Avril's network but I'm currently not connected. So I'm going to right click this and select properties and this will bring up my security tab. Now if I take a look at the security types that are available I can have no authentication and what that means is I'm going to use the older WEP standard and this is not recommended because it's not secure but one of the things that you have to bear in mind when you're setting up your security systems on the client is they have to match with the security settings on your access point. So if you have an older access point that only supports web, then you would need to select this option on your client. Now the other options you have is WPA Personal and WPA Enterprise. And you'll see here there's a WPA Personal and a WPA2 Personal. And the difference between those is that WPA2 is a later release. And again, look on your access point and if you can support WPA2, this would be recommended if you are at home or small business. Now your options are you have to set up your security key and let's set this up as I love my Wi-Fi network. You also have two options on the encryption side. You can use TKIP or AES. Uh, AES is a stronger encryption than TKIP, so this one would be recommended if your access point supports it. Now the advanced settings is just you'd want to select that if you're working with the US federal government and needed to be FIBS compliant. Now let's take a look at our last one which is WPA2 Enterprise and again you'd want to use this one if you were a large enterprise. One of the things that it does is it allows you to set up PEEP and what PEEP is is the ability to set up a secure tunnel before you go ahead and do your authentication. So let's go ahead and take a look at the settings so here you'd want to select Validate Service Certificate. If you were wanting to interconnect with your own radius server on your wired network, then you would select this one and type in the name of the radius server that you have in your network. If you were wanting to use a Trusted Root Certificate Authority, then you would come down here and actually select the certificate authority that was issuing your server certificate. So let's come down here and perhaps select VeriSign as our preferred certificate authority. Selecting this option do not prompt user to authorize new services or trusted certification authorities. This one would improve security and perhaps give you a better user experience because the user would experience less pop-ups to validate different certificates as they're connecting to different websites. And down here you can configure your secure password. Here there's an option to set up MS Chap or to set up a smart card or other options for connecting. Down here you have some options to enable a fast reconnect if you're roaming between access points. There's also additional options here including health checks through the network, access protection, or to ensure you've got crypto binding between the EAP mechanism and the secure tunnel that you're setting up with PEEP. And also what you can do is if you want to hide your identity before you've actually verified that you're connecting to the right network, you can type in an identity that will be used in the interim messaging just here. The other thing I want to show you is this, the advanced settings. So when you're setting up WPA Enterprise or WPA2 Enterprise, they're designed to be used in conjunction with 8021X. And so here you want to be able to select your authentication mode and typically we would recommend that you select user or computer authentication but there are other options that you might want to use. 
and by selecting this option you can actually allow a single sign-on for the user which can improve the user experience however a lot of enterprises like to use a different password for connecting to the network than is used for signing on to the Windows 7 client the other tab here is 802.11 settings and here you can see I have some options for fast roaming now I have the option to use pairwise master key caching and this is where I cache the results of my 802.1x authentication so that when I'm roaming around I can quickly move back to access points that I was already authenticated with so here I'm going to leave them as my default settings and I can also select here the option that the network uses pre-authentication so this is when the client performs an 802.1x authentication with other access points that it anticipates that it will roam to in the future and so is authenticating ahead of time in the assumption that it will move to it the last thing here of course is the FIBS compliance should I want to do that thank you for listening I hope you found this useful